Hi beauties, good morning from me and all this hair. Welcome back or welcome if it's your first time. I wanted to sit down and just play in some makeup. I'm in the mood so I thought I would film. I want to use my new Milk Cosmetics. Mary Jane palette today. I've used this a couple of times off camera. I'm really liking it, to be honest with you. Um, so I just wanted to do something today. Um, don't mind, look, I, <laughs> I added some more color to my hair a couple days ago. So I know my hairline's looking crazy. My fingernails are looking crazy. It's, it's what it is. I still have it like on my ear and on my neck. You know, we're just going to look past that. But let's get into this. I I guess if you want just like a quick mini review. So this is what the palette looks like. Same layout as all their other palettes. Um, these bigger palettes anyway, not their stacks. I have used all of the mattes. All of the mattes work great, in my opinion, no issues. I've used, I think I've used almost all the shimmers too. I mean, I haven't used Bow. Bow might be the only one I haven't used. Maybe we'll use that today. But all of the shimmers I find are beautiful. Um, I use a glitter glue with any shimmer that I wear, like any shimmer from any palette. This was no different. They adhered wonderfully to the glitter glue. I used both a brush and my finger to apply them. They worked well both way, both ways. Now the only thing I will say, so these shades at either end of the palette, these lighter shades, these are the two that I had a little bit of issue with. They are like pressed a little bit harder into the pan so for me, that made it a little bit difficult like to pick them up. There's the shades right there. They were a little bit difficult for me to pick up with a brush and apply. Um, worked a little bit better with my finger, but they're pretty shades nonetheless. They just didn't pick up very good on a brush for me. So on a first impression basis, I really like this. I I don't have any past experiences with Melt. Like I haven't been jaded by any other palette. So this is really my only reference point. But I like it. I'm liking it. Um, we will see. Like time will be the test. I know that there were some issues what was it with the smoke sessions palette where there was like mold and the palette like looked greasy and I don't know. I'm hoping that that's not the case <laughs> with this one, but let's just do something. I don't really smoke weed like that. So I'm not going to know what some of these names are. Um, but let's go in with this shade Mari first this lightest brown mari mary i don't know mary with an i because i'm different let's just put this all oh my gosh i almost didn't prime my eyes what am i doing Okay, I think I'm ready now. Now let's put this all over in my crease. I will say the mattes do have quite a bit of fallout. If that's something you care about, you know. I love this shade. I really do. I think this is just such a pretty soft brown. It's like, it's, it's pretty neutral. I don't think it pulls too cool or too warm. I 
love it. Just going to do one eye for you. As always, it's going to be something in my wheelhouse, simple and neutral, as always. But let's just build this up a little bit out here, wing it out a little bit. I don't know that I want to do anything like super dark today. I don't want to do like a halo eye or anything. Um, okay, let's, what shade do I want to do? There's this, you know what, let's do, let's go in with the shade Gaspar, which almost looks like it's got a little bit, it's like a greenish, yellowish brown. It's really pretty. But we are, we're going to put this just in my outer corner. It's just going to ever so slightly deepen things up. And then I want to run a little bit of it through my actual crease. Keep it a little bit lower than that Mari shade. Just want a little bit of depth. Nothing super intense. Man, I almost wasn't gonna film today. Like, I'm glad this eye looks so much better today. I don't know if I got like hair dye in it or something. Uh when I did my hair but yesterday this eye was so irritated it was like red it was watering all day to the point where I had like tears coming down my face that I couldn't control it was really weird but it feels perfectly fine today I don't know what the heck I did but I don't really think I have allergies like that so I don't think it was allergies Okay, I almost have this where I want it. I'll probably go back in with that first brush and first shade and just kind of run them along the edge here. Smooth everything out. But I do think like these mats work so well together they blend well you know like I said I don't I don't have any other melt any other melt shadows or melt experiences to compare this against so so far for me uh I like this we will see if this palette stands the test of time But how are you guys? How is everybody doing? We're almost through with another week. I actually cannot believe that we're into May. Like I really can't. And I, it's just, time is weird, right? It's been so weird the last year like I so weird it's like things are like in warp speed but it also but it also still feels really slow like I don't know it's just weird I can't believe we're in May um my birthday is in a few weeks <laughs> Shout out to you, Geminis. You may Geminis. Yeah, my birthday's in a few weeks. Um, not doing anything. 
not doing anything. Um, I'm trying to get myself a hair appointment. I really, really, really need to get my hair cut. I haven't gotten my hair actually cut since June of last year. So it'll be almost a year if I end up getting it cut on my birthday. And my hair normally has like layers, which I guess it still does, but it's, my hair is so long. When it's wet, it's like past, almost past my boobs, which is the longest I think it probably ever has been. I don't mind having long hair. I love long hair, but I just want it to look like a little bit healthier. My ends are getting kind of straggly. So yeah, I just want things to look a little healthier. And I'm also considering, I'm considering dyeing my hair a different color. I have been red for years, like over a decade. Uh, my hair naturally is just, it's just brown. Um, I love the red. I love being a redhead. But I, for like the last couple months, I've really had this urge to dye my hair purple. I don't know why. Not like a lilac purple. I want like a super vivid like true purple like violet purple I don't know why I've never I've never wanted that color hair but it just sounds really pretty I am gonna be working from home for the foreseeable future so why not you know, if I ever wanted to do something like out of the box to my hair, now would be the time, right? Okay, so we are going to pick up that bow shade on a brush. And just put him all over the lid. Just a super pretty... Like bronzy brown. Okay. I love the shimmers in this palette. I do. I really, really do. They're like so textured. And they're so rich. Ugh. Okay. Going back in with that first brush. I'm just going to lightly go over these edges here. Sorry. Just make things not as harsh. I don't want a super defined line from where the shimmer was. And then just go back in with that brush. And just tap over the edge here. Go back in with Gaspar. I'm just taking my time and making sure things look well blended and, you know, married out here on this edge. There are like some little glitters in here and I can't tell what color they are. They almost look, call me crazy, but they almost look blue. This is such a pretty color. Oof. Okay. I think that's about it. Like, that's just what I want. I want something soft and smoky. 
So we're gonna call that good. Let me get my other eye up to speed. Okay, eyes as good as they're gonna get. I had some pretty intense fallout on my face too, which I knew. So I purposely didn't put any primer or anything on before I did my eyes. Um, but let's do that now. I don't actually know if this product, it's, sorry, it's like sliding off my fingers. I don't actually know if this is supposed to be a primer, but this is, um, this is that Say product that's in my stash. I think it should be a primer, right? I don't know. It's, I don't know that I would ever use it as a highlight personally. I think it's supposed to be a base product. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about it. It just looked pretty, but I like this. It's just a, it's a nice luminous base product. Yeah. Uh, for my base, what do I want to use? I used my Wet n Wild Dewy a few days ago and <laughs> Wow, does it make you dewy. Like I really, really forgot. I had a dewy base. I used that foundation. I used my luminous setting spray. I was glowing. Um, do I want to use it again? Uh, or do I want to use my, I have that and my Flower Beauty Serum foundation. Do, I'm going to do my Wet n Wild, but I'm going to, I think part of the issue the other day was that I just accidentally put on way too much. So let's see if we can just like tone it down a little bit, you know? Because I really do like this foundation. Oh, if you've ever used this, you know it has such a weird smell. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It smells like... It smells like both paint and perfume at the same time. How it does it, I have no idea. Okay, I think that foundation looks quite nice. Let's go in with my concealer, my Pat McGrath. What was I talking about? Was I just talking about my birthday? I kind of got derailed. Um, I mean, my birthday is not, I've never really made a big spectacle of my birthday, so no real plans. Um, Although, you know, I will say, I will, with this birthday, I will officially be closer to 40 than to 30. So, you know, that's cool. I guess. <laughs> you know, I actually have, I have quite enjoyed getting older. And I know I am not by any measure, at least by any of my measures, I know I'm not old, like, at all. I don't feel old. I don't think I look old. I don't think I act old. I don't think that, I don't even think that 40 is old, but, you know, I know society does, but I've enjoyed getting older. I look forward to getting older, honestly. Like, that's a, it's a blessing. 
and you don't really think about that stuff when you're young. I never would have said that like in my 20s, but gosh, now I really do like birthdays are something that should be celebrated. Never really cared too much about my birthday, but now it's like, yeah, you know what? Let's let's do celebrate. Because making it another year is is celebratory. What am I trying to say? <laughs> is a celebratory event. Okay, using my Fenty powder and butter. This stuff is very scented as well, if you've used it. But to be honest with you, I love the way this smells. I love it. It's just like, it reminds me of, I don't know, just old fashioned makeup, like vintage. I don't know why, I have no, I have no reference point for that. But that's just what it reminds me of. <laughs> For some weird reason. But I know I asked you guys how you're doing, but how are you? Like, I really, really hope you're doing well. Um, you know, whatever, whatever that means to you. Everybody's idea of wellness is different. Maybe wellness for you today means that you were able to take a shower or you were able to pay a bill or what the hell ever. I just hope you're doing well because that is, that's hard enough these days, you know, it really is. Let's do my lower lash line. Not going to do anything crazy here. Shocking, I know. I'm just going to put that Gaspar shade. This eye is starting to get a little watery. I can feel it on the outer corner. We're just going to keep Gaspar here. And then I'll just probably take Mari and run it all along. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera real quick, put some mascara on, and I'll be back. Okay, eyes are done. Mascara on. I used the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational, which I know I like rave about every time I use it. Still the case, still love it. However, I have found one thing that is kind of, you know, maybe a gripe with it. And that's just that it, it's kind of hard to take off. <laughs> it's not waterproof. It's not impossible. It's not terrible. It just is a little bit more difficult than any other mascara I have. Um, so there's that. Just requires a little bit more, you know, elbow grease as they say. I'm using my Tower 28 bronzer. I've really, really been liking this. I've been using it almost every day, making quite a dent in the pan here. What have you guys been up to? I mean, hopefully the weather is getting nicer where you are. Hopefully it's getting warmer. Like, do you guys have any plans for the summer? If you're vaccinated, are you like going on a trip anywhere? Are you deciding to travel? Are you still staying home? Like, fill me in. What are you doing? Because I want to live vicariously through you if you're going somewhere. We are all fully vaccinated. Um, I mean, except for our kids, obviously. But pretty much my whole, like, immediate family, me, my husband, 
his side of the family, my side of the family, we're all vaccinated. So we've been thinking about just doing something still very small, not like traveling, but just getting together, you know, not probably everybody all at once, but you know, like maybe siblings first, maybe then, I don't know. We haven't really given it a ton of thought, but it would be nice to, you know, have people over, have a cookout, um, go to our lake house for a weekend. You know, it's like the possibility is finally on the table, you know, whereas it hasn't been for the last year. So that's nice. Um, I just still don't know, like, if I'm 100% comfortable. <sighs> I don't know. You guys, 2020 just, it <laughs> fucking ruined me. I don't know. Like, I'm just, um, I just feel like I'm always going to be a little bit nervous. And that's okay. However you feel is okay. But, you know, are you doing anything? Do you have anything planned? Any summer plans? I have, I think I have just a week's worth of vacation this summer that I've taken so far. I've got like a week off in July. Really for no particular reason. We don't have plans. I just didn't want to work. So, and I have the time. So why not? I am going to do just a tiny bit of some Nabla bronzer over that. Just set it a little bit, but I love, I just love how like warm that makes my skin. It's so beautiful. But just doing what I normally do, taking a little bit of both of these Nabla bronzers on a brush. Just kind of dip back and forth between the two. Set all this. Are we buying any new makeup? Have you bought any new makeup recently? Tell me about that because I am trying to be good. Um, but look, it's my birthday month, so I'm gonna buy myself some stuff. I just am. And I'm not gonna feel bad about it. I just bought that new Kaleidos palette last night, that Flower Punk palette. It looks so pretty. Okay. Stop with the bronzer. <laughs> but yeah, that, that palette looks gorgeous. So I bought that. Um, I bought, what else did I buy? I just bought a couple things. I bought, did I buy two? Yeah, I did. Um, I bought, don't judge me. I bought two palettes from Give Me Glow. I bought, somebody told me, one of you lovely subscribers told me in my last video that the vintage rose palette I was talking about I have the vivid rose and I was talking about how I really like that one but the vintage rose is kind of more like my color story and what I would have preferred but it was sold out so somebody told me that it's actually in stock on their website right now so I went and got that and then they also had their Christmas morning palette restocked so I bought that and I bought three of their singles. So I have, I have all of those things coming too. There's nothing else. I'm kind of tempted by the BH, you know, May birthstone emerald palette. Cause I do think it's really pretty. And I saw I watched somebody use it in a video this morning and it's really pretty, but I don't know. I just don't know that it's 
I don't know that it's something I will buy. I mean, I, I really, only reason I want it is obviously because I'm a May baby. I'm a Gemini. I, I love, I love emeralds. But that's, I don't know. It's not, not something I need, okay? I'm going to tone this down a little bit because I did get, did get a little bit carried away. With my blush per usual. Um, I don't want to put this palette away though. This Danessa Myricks highlighting palette. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Let's use a little bit. Like usually just run my brush in a couple of shades. This brush that I'm using is from Undone Beauty actually. I got it at Target. But it's such a perfect shape. It just like hugs this part of your cheek. I actually don't know what it was like intended for but it's so perfect for highlight like I can't can't get enough of it this palette oh makes me want to try more Danessa Myricks which I probably will let's use my Propa I haven't used my Propa Beauty lipstick yet oh actually I have yeah I have used this once off camera. This is the shade Moxie. This is in their uh, their new newer collection, the one with all the reds. I'm not going to use a lip liner. Let's just go in. Okay, y'all, I am finished. How beautiful is this lipstick? These Propa Beauty lipsticks are just, they're beyond. They're so pretty. But this is the finished look, just something super simple, soft, brown, you know, my wheelhouse. But hopefully you enjoyed. I mean, like I said, I am really, really enjoying this palette. I am glad I bought it. Like I said, we'll see how it does over time. Hopefully I don't like open it up to some crazy mold creature growing in there in a couple months, but <laughs> I'm loving it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me get this look. If you did, if you've made it this far, please, please give me a like. Consider subscribing. It really, really does mean a lot to me. I am so, so close to hitting like my first 100 subscribers. And I know that sounds probably not like that big of a deal, but I am like geeked at the idea of it. I think it's so cool that there are people who actually want to watch what I'm doing. So it really, really means a lot to me. So consider subscribing. I would love to see you again. I would love for you to stick around for more, but until then, take care of yourselves and take care of each other, beauties.